we are leaving the house a little early today to head up to the prow. We haven't come up with a better name for it yet. We're heading up there to finish bolting and hopefully climb today. Yeah, depends how much cleaning. Day two on the prow. The view is beautiful and the prow is sick. It seems that the prow is done. It's finished bolting. Need to do a lot of cleaning. Josh is up here. It's pretty dusty up here. Once you get through some of that stuff, it's good. It's gonna be an amazing line once we clean it for a few more hours. Charlotte just finished bolting. And I'm gonna start the line to the left. Whoa! Double check. Double check. Going down for the other line. And we are rained up. Day three on the sheep route was a short day. There is some alpaca meat that we got at the butcher today. And we are going to cook it over the fire. It's kind of cool here. They give us the meat just right on the bone. So you get to do a little butchering yourself. Which brings me back to my deer butchering days. My first job. Really interesting line. Yeah? You see hold so far? Yeah. Cool. We're working together. Isn't it cute? Two lines. Bolted. Now we just have to clean them. Oh yeah. We're at the base of the beast. To get to it, we need to make a little via ferrata. What you doing, Sha? Bolting the sheep prow is complete. Cannot climb it yet because there is still some loose rock and there's a big drop below with some potato fill and people working on it. So we have to take care of those rocks another day when it's safer. But uh, we're psyched to move on to the next wall which looks very cool and kind of easier to work on. And we'll have some company. We'll have Coco yeah. and Deanna to hang with us. And they just checked out our bottom of the Via Ferrata and they loved it. They loved the line, so we're approved by the locals. <laughs> we are at a new cliff. It's very different from the cliff that we just bolted because, well, this one has a lot of potential for maybe 10 lines or something. We're at the top of the new cliff that we're gonna bolt. We got these like cool three stones that just fell from who knows where just split into three pieces one of them's our nice anchor and we'll be wrapping down this beautiful cliff that's down there and there's the arete that we were bolting the past three days Charlotte's doing really good with this yeah. really nice you like it? yeah Snowing. We got a traffic jam. <laughs> and we made eye contact. And it was like. Wow. Yeah! These are the 
be short here because between 3 and 4 there would be a um, storm. So we would always leave the cliff by 4 and go straight to downtown where we would go to little restaurants and the local money would be a soup, a salad and some chicken and some rice. <laughs> I am in the middle of the bushes looking for our drill battery because yesterday we we're building in the prow up there. Somehow the battery fell and uh, somehow I have some hope to find it. And I'm even more hopeful that maybe it's gonna be alive still. Guys, I found it right here, perfectly set down and it's still working! No way! A little dent here. Whoa, that is crazy because it's probably like 200 meter full. That was a quick mission. Let's go back up to our wall and drill and climb. We're very excited about this new wall because there's tons of routes to be bolted and we're even more excited that the locals, Diana and Coco, came the first day with us and they were psyched about the wall too and they even got to try our first route while we're still bolting the other routes. It was pretty funny to cheering up on Coco while he was trying and I was bolting a route up in the wall. Yeah, the bolt worked! You going up right now? Yeah. Going up to clean and put the last bolt. Nice. It's very valuable to be accepted by the local community and even attract the curiosity of local shepherds taking care of the sheep or llamas in the hills around us. Finally, we got to climb the routes that we've been bolting. The first one is a route called Mr. Potato Head. When he first bolted it, Josh thought it would be an easy line because it's such a huge hold, but it happens to be very overhanging and it actually has two cruxy parts. Uh, one in the middle of the ledge where you have to grab some smaller cramps and move your feet around. And the next crux is higher in the route where you have to grab some very unique knobs um, to do some big moves and the route finishes with some very very nice slab that we didn't film in this vlog. What are we doing Josh? We're hiking out. It's the latest we've hiked out because it was so fun to bolt. We just couldn't stop and it took us a long time. Sorry there's not so much climbing in the vlog but we're bolting and it's really hard to balance between climbing and bolting because there's just so much rock to be bolted. Uh, but next vlog in vlog 54 there will be more climbing actions and also more bolting and cleaning. <laughs>